homo If you were homosexual, you had a mental illness. The worst to be, or to be a person of color, poor and gay. I was cornered after school by some older kids who roughed me up. They said that I was a faggot and that I should die and go to hell where I belong. Tonight, a tragic news story about a growing problem in schools across America, bullying. Is this grader's parents say he was picked on at his Massachusetts school by students who called him gay, said he was feminine. Carl later hanged himself. From the time that I was eight years old, I cross-dressed. I was afraid of being assaulted. Homosexuality is not God's best. I would say, Lord, take this away from me. I really thought that I would face a choice between being out and pursuing the career of my dreams. I'd like to energize the conservative Christian base in uh, Houston, get them out to vote. Out to vote against Anise Parker. She's pictured at the front alongside her longtime partner under the headline, Is This the Image Houston Wants to Portray? As I was struggling with coming out, that was something that was always in my mind, is that, wait a minute, this will be a roadblock. It will be a roadblock, but I'm being Asian, won't be. I'm being gay made me wonder whether I could have a career in politics. Or if I could get elected, how, how far along could you go? My entire adult life, I have been working toward the point that these barriers are going to stop being so important. We think that we have limitations on us, that if only we would realize there are other people around us that share the same fears, the same concerns, and only by communicating and talking to each other do we realize that we have strength to be who we are. Every human being experiences challenges in their life. And while you don't want young people to to experience things that leave you wounded forever, we do need to learn how to overcome adversity. The whole symbolic side of things, and symbolism matters. It matters that a young person can say, oh, there's been an openly gay person elected to the United States Congress. Maybe there are limitless possibilities for me when I grow up. If you are the kid of a maid and a gardener and you can become an elected official in the eighth largest city of this country, the American dream is alive and well.